All right, let's talk about UFOs. What does UFO stand for? Of course, we all know that. Why do we know that? That's so odd. Uh, yeah, UFOs. So here in America, for 60 years, we've had this incredible story. The, the story goes that we've all been visited on a regular basis by not one, not two, but dozens, if not hundreds, of different types of alien spacecraft. They've done all kinds of, uh, and, and the wild thing is, look at how different all of the spacecraft are. They're all completely different. And the story goes that some people are captured and that we're being checked out and so on. And the amazing thing is that the story is so compelling that it persists despite the fact that we have no good, solid, hard evidence for it. Now, I tell you what, what we do have is a whole bunch of stories. How many of you guys know somebody who knows somebody who saw a UFO? Everyone, yeah, of course. And, and yet, this is, this is the most common thing. People say, well, I saw this thing and I couldn't explain it. I think it's a being from another dimension. Uh, and these are all the most common UFO things. This one's the most common here because these happen every single night. But I tell you what, okay, so, so we got stories. Stories aren't good evidence. Anyone can tell a story. Maybe they're confused. Uh, what's the one bit of hard evidence? What's the one thing that approaches hard evidence that we have for UFOs? People say crop circles, but that's just a different phenomenon that we've tied to UFOs. We might as well, if, if crop circles happened back in the 1600s, they would have said that Satan made them. So, uh, so, so let's try uh, so, something, something that's directly related to UFOs. Right, right there in the back. What's that? Area, well, I mean, we have more stories. You, you can't back up one story with more stories. I'm talking about what's something you can pick up in your hand and say, ah, this is my evidence for a UFO, sir. What am I talking about? Pictures. pictures, of course. Yeah, we got pictures like these. Pictures that UFO experts claim are absolutely impossible to fake. Some of the finest minds in the world that these are real photos. Well, I don't know. I mean, that's a pretty big claim to claim we're visited by UFOs. And if you're going to show me photos like this, you better believe I want to know that they can't be faked. In fact, I'm going to ask the question, are they real or are they fake? Let's find out. We're going to play a game. We're going to play a game called real or fake. I'm going to show you a UFO. It might be a genuine UFO photo, or it may be a fake created by a college student. If you guess right, I'm going to give you a cheats, cons, swindles, and tricks, or a trick deck of cards, whichever one you want. Who wants to be our first contestant for real or fake? Right here. Stand up right where you are. What's your name, sir? Justin. What's that? Justin, Justin, this photo right here, is this a real UFO photo or a fake created by a college student? A fake, you are absolutely correct. You get a cheese con, swindles, and tricks. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> All right, who else? Who's our next contestant? Right here, stand up. What's your name, bud? Jack. Jack, this right here, is this a real UFO photo or a fake created by a college student? It's a fake, you would think so, but unfortunately, that is a real UFO photo. But I tell you what, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a trick deck of cards just for, uh, just for helping out here. All right, who wants to be our next contestant? Right back here, what's your name? DJ. What's that sound like, DJ? DJ, this one right here, is this a real UFO photo or is that a fake created by a college kid? A real, a real yeah. Supposedly, uh, to me, that looks like a blurry bird, but apparently that's a real <laughs> UFO photo. You get a book as well. So here's, here's the point I'm trying to make, right? So you got, you, you've got this story, and the number one evidence is photos. And to me, it's totally arbitrary whether or not the photos turn out to be uh, supposedly real or intentional fakes. And in, and in fact, I think a lot of these intentional fakes created by college students like you guys look a lot better than the so-called real ones. So to me, you can have photos of UFOs, but if they look like these, I ain't going to believe it. Uh, now, okay, so, so, so we don't have good evidence. So we don't have photos. So what? It's a great story. Don't we all want it to be true? So let's go ahead and evaluate. So what? We got, we got no evidence. What are the odds? Right? What are the odds? Well, the odds are actually pretty interesting. People don't understand some of the numbers involved. They, oh, by the way, uh, SETI is an organization that scans the heaven looking for alien signals. Who can tell me what SETI stands for? I'll give you a book if you get it right. Right in the back. Way in the back was first. Search for extraterrestrial intelligence. There we go. Give him a, uh, give him a cheese con, swindles, and tricks. Yeah, search for extraterrestrial intelligence. They use the Drake equation. And it's a way of crunching the numbers, and, it, and, and depending on how you run them, it turns out that because the universe is so gargantuan, that, uh, that if, there is, if there, there's enough stars out there, that the odds are reasonably good that if we scan the heavens long enough, we might see another civilization shooting out radio waves. But that's not what the UFO guys are claiming. What they claim is that we're physically visited by aliens on a regular basis. That's a different thing altogether, because they've got to physically get here. So let's take the 100 stars nearest Earth. 
only 13 of those stars are even thought to be capable of holding on to an Earth-like an Earth planet. The rest are too big, they're too small, they're binary star systems, they just don't work. So you've got 13 potentials out there at an average distance of 20 light years away. So what are the odds of one of those, of one of those planets forming life, of that life following a parallel of our own, including the development of vertebrates, that those vertebrates would form a, a primate-like beings, that they form intelligence, civilizations, surpass us to a constraint-free economy, and eventually interstellar travel. And then here's the part that kills it. What are the odds that all this happens exactly now out of the 13.7 billion year history of the, uh, of the universe? What are the odds? One in a million? One in a million billion? A lot of people think the odds are zero. Let's be generous, though, just to, just to be safe. Let's say one in a million, right? They still got to get here. People don't appreciate how far 20 light years is. Even at 6,000 miles per second, it would take them 500 years to reach us. We're talking about them receiving our radio signals, piling their babies into a ship so that their babies' great, 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 great grandchildren can scoop up our hayseeds and inspect their colons. I mean, it's not, it's not impossible. It's just that I don't think it's very likely. <laughs> so what's the alternative, right? What is, what's going on? Who can tell me? I'll give you a book or trick deck, whichever one you want. Whoever can tell me what we know this quote as today? Occam's Razor. All right, yeah, we know it as Occam's Razor. We rephrase it nowadays as the simpler the explanation, the better. Or don't get, don't get complicated unnecessarily. And uh, Carl Sagan had another great quote, extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof. The idea that we're visited by UFOs on a regular basis is a very extraordinary claim, but you're going to have to do better than some photos that may or may not be fakes. Uh, now, could it be, this is just my own crazy, nutty idea here, right? Alternate theory. What the heck? Could it be that people all over the world are misunderstanding natural phenomena? Or better yet, could it be that people are misremembering stuff they've seen before? Well, I don't know. I mean, now I'm getting out there. If... Uh, <laughs> How good is memory anyway? Well, let's find out. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead. Let's take an item that everyone has seen every single day of their entire lives. Let's take a penny. When you guys are, when somebody's asked to draw a penny, this is the type of thing they come up with. This one's my favorite right there. 